Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Bus Force. This is video five, and today we're talking about saturation. So instead of listening to the track that we have in the last few videos, today we're gonna be listening to something very, very interesting, which is a triangle wave. So I have in pigments here, just a triangle wave going to the output. So something kind of like that. So let's go ahead and move pigments out of the way and let's go back to bus force here. So let's go to a new preset here and then our sad path is what we want to listen to, but let's disable the equalizer filter and the compressor. So really we're, our signal's going in and then it's going down over here to the saturation and then to the output. So by default, the harmonics are going to be off, overdrive's off, and then the makeup gain is going to be here at zero. So really no change right now at the moment. So the first knob we should tackle here is going to be the harmonics. So we have a couple different versions. We have even, odd, and thick, right? So even is going to emphasize the second harmonic, odd's going to emphasize the third harmonic, and thick is going to emphasize both. So what's useful about this is to actually see in this graph here what's actually going on here. So if we go to even here, and let's play our triangle wave. This is kind of what we're getting here. So take a look at all these harmonics here. And as we increase this uh, harmonics knob, take a look at how that changes. So it's very subtle, but you can see right over here, we're adding this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on and so forth. Now, harmonic saturation is very subtle, but it's also pleasing to the ear because it's based on harmonics over here. Now we have odd. So take a listen to how this changes. Now we're going to odd. And we can see it's a little bit different right over here. So it's, it's kind of faint. It might be a little bit hard to see, but we are seeing a little bit of a difference there. So back to even. Back to odd. And this is just with a triangle wave with a, mo with a full track. You're going to hear a little bit more. It's going to sound a little, more, a little bit more interesting. But to keep in mind, this is just a triangle wave. So it's a little bit boring sound, but at least we get to see what it's actually doing. And then if we go over here to even again, then we're going to check out thick and see what that looks like. Even, odd, and then thick. And then this knob here is basically how strong we want that. And it goes all the way from off to 30 dB. Now down over here, we have overdrive, which is a much harsher version of, uh, of distortion or saturation. So this gets very loud really quickly, which is also nice to have makeup gain. So we can turn this down maybe about 20 dB and then start increasing this here. So we can see how many more partials, harmonics have been added to this signal here. And something like this a little bit goes a long way because we have a throw of 50 dB, which is a lot. So let's go ahead and restore our makeup gain over here. Now this curve switch is very interesting too. So basically at the end of the result, what's gonna happen is the mid to higher frequencies will be a little bit more saturated than the lower frequencies. And the way it's accomplished is once we have this on, before it goes into the saturation model module, it's gonna turn down the low frequencies, let the higher ones pass, saturate those, and then it's gonna do that opposite effect of lowering the lows. It's gonna increase them back again and kind of restore it. So basically what you're left with is a smooth, rich low end, but you're gonna have your more mid to higher frequency saturated. So it really depends on what you want. So so that's kind of a good demonstration to hear it. So we're going to play this low note here with this with this on. We can kind of hear that that's going to be a little bit distorted, right? Now let's change the curve. Now it's much more softer, so it's not necessarily getting processed, but if we play a higher, higher notes, we can tell that that's going to have a lot more harmonics as well. So you can really tell that the lower end is going to be much more rich, much more original with this curve to be down. However, it's really up to you if you want those that smooth low end and some more crispy saturation on the higher end, then I would suggest to turn this off. But if you want everything kind of run through the saturation module, then I would highly recommend to keep this on. So it's really up to you kind of depending on what you want, but that's really the functionality of this curve here. So on, it's going to distort those low end, the low end waves. And then off, it's going to be smooth.
Yeah, so it's going to be much more interesting if you're actually running a track through it. But I thought it might be nice to run set, like a triangle wave or maybe even a sine wave if you want to check that out as well to kind of see what's actually going on and see the different sounds, how it how it sounds. And then once you put it on a track, it's going to be much more pleasing than running just <laughs> one waveform. So uh, hopefully that helps out. Hopefully you learned something from the saturation module and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.